Childhood cancer, obviously, terrifying diagnosis, put in the middle of a pandemic, and it can be incredibly lonely, too. But there are two local childhood cancer survivors now giving back to help other young children who are still fighting cancer. CBS 17's Maggie Newland has their inspiring story. At an age when a hand to hold and a superhero suit can shield a child from his worst imaginary enemy, Charlie Gluten faced a very real threat, one he couldn't conquer alone, even with the best costume out there. Charlie was diagnosed in November of 2018 with high risk B cell ALL, which is leukemia. Fortunately, Charlie had a whole team of doctors and nurses fighting with him, and his mom, Jill, a whole network of friends to lean on. So we were never alone. Through Charlie's fight, Jill Gluten found support from other families fighting similar battles, which is how she met Ashley Fannin. Her son Mason received his leukemia treatment at UNC, and it's how she learned about Resilience Gives, socks with stories, co-designed by kids with cancer. Mason was able to design socks one day when we were in the clinic. Now Mason and Charlie are two of 50 childhood cancer survivors across the country donating socks to other children fighting cancer. Both boys donated to the hospitals where they received treatment. Well, they made me smile when I was in the hospital, and I want to make them smile now. They may seem small, but to a family fighting cancer, the non-slip socks are a big deal. My feet are always cold. <laughs> More than socks, they're a way to connect with other kids battling cancer and the added isolation of a pandemic. We um, had Charlie, a picture of Charlie with the socks and Child Life attached, um, printed out and attached his picture to all of the socks. So when the kids got the socks, they could see, you know, an inspirational, you know, story or kid of somebody who's doing well, um, you know, whose hair's grown back, who, you know, who. Um, is, is healthy, you know, considering. We know what it's like to be stuck in those hospital, within those hospital walls, and now that we're somewhat on the other side, we really want to be able to just give the kids something to look forward to. Children who battled an all-too-real enemy, giving other young heroes hope in their own fights. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.